Rufus Castle, also known as Bow and Arrow Castle, sits overlooking the picturesque Church Ope Cove on the Isle of Portland in England. Its history is rather interesting, however sadly, much of the fortification today has been lost to the sea through coastal erosion. Today the castle sits in the back garden of a house, however it acted as one of the most important castles in terms of defending England, sitting on the south coast. Join us today as we explore Rufus Castle on the Isle of Portland. Once again, to support the channel, please subscribe and also check out some more of our videos on England's greatest castles. In ancient times for defence against attack, taxes were raised on the Isle of Portland to create its first castle. Rufus Castle was reportedly built for William II, also known as William Rufus. The structure today, however, is not from the 11th or 12th century. In 1142, Robert the Earl of Gloucester captured the castle from King Stephen on behalf of Empress Matilda during the time of the Civil War. In 1238, it had additional fortifications added to it and was owned by Richard de Clare, a wealthy lord. The castle was rebuilt between 1432 and 1460 by Richard the Duke of York and much of this renovation still exists today. The politician and writer John Penn in the late 18th century built the adjacent Pennsylvania Castle. This new castle on Portland was more for show, however Penn would also change parts of Rufus Castle to make it more picturesque as he owned the land as well. He created a bridge that goes above the lane leading to Church Oak, a rather spectacular cove. In 1989, the castle's seaward arch collapsed and this is how the castle remains today. Rufus Castle has had a rich role in English culture too. The landscape artist J.M.W. Turner sketched Rufus and it was featured in Thomas Hardy's novel The Well Beloved, being referenced as the Red King's Castle. Not much remains of Rufus Castle today and the existing structure appears to have been the keep of a stronghold. The tower of the castle is pentagonal and has late medieval gun holes but rests on an earlier foundation which may have featured a 12th century keep. The remains that exist today include parts of the keep, sections of the walls with gun ports and a 19th century round arch bridge. The keep is full of small loopholes which may have led to their name the Bow and Arrow Castle which is used by the locals. On the keep there is also corbels which are grouped together in groups of three. The wall on the south side has now disappeared and as we mentioned earlier the castle now sits on private property and is inaccessible to the public. Rufus Castle sits dramatically on top of a large rock formation and acts as a dramatic reminder of the need to defend and protect England. It's a picturesque location that sits overlooking the cove and was built for one purpose, to deter and to defeat invaders. What is rather sad however is the fact that hardly any of the castle today is viewable being hidden away behind private land and by falling into the sea. Once again thank you for watching the Untold Past. Apologies for the short nature of this video, there really wasn't very much we could see of Rufus Castle. To support the channel make sure to subscribe and check out some more videos from England's greatest castles. Once again thank you for watching.